the subject I'll talk about today is if you have a Facebook account and if you have 10 Turkish Liras, you can make a difference, a big one. This is what I'll talk about. Now, briefly talking about myself, I was born in Istanbul. I'm a graduate of Işık Lisesi and then Bosphorus University. I'm married, I have two children. My daughter is 20 now and my son is almost 17. And the pictures you see here are rather old. Um, um, I've been working for Microsoft for, since the last five years and the last one year with the GM. And I've been working since I knew myself. Now, the pictures here you see, that's my son, that's my daughter, that's my best friend. What is common about these pictures is that they were all taken at the Fatih Forest. Now, Fatih Forest, for those who don't know, um, it's in Bahçeköy direction, Maslak to Bahçeköy. It's a small forest, actually. It's nothing significant, but uh, it's very nice, actually. Small, round parkour. You, you can walk, you can run, you can have picnic. And because it's near to my home, I live in Tarabia, and we used to go there every weekend with the children. We used to have picnic, we used to chase uh, frogs, we used to sit, and we used to go there almost every weekend. Okay, the last few years we couldn't because the children grew up and we had to prepare them for the university and high school and so on. Anyway, but we always knew that this place was available, permanent beauty. Until recently, one Sunday, a friend of mine, he came, he said the forest has been closed and it's been allocated to a construction project. And I was devastated. I couldn't, he I couldn't tolerate that. I said, I mean, how can I? I, I it sank into my stomach. I said, I have to do something. And I heard that it was this owl project. I kept seeing this advertisement on the TV five times a day. I was badly irritated, but I didn't know where it was. I didn't know what to do, but I immediately shared my feelings over the Facebook. So this is what I did. I wrote over the Facebook. I said, Fatih Forest has been closed, and it's going to be a construction area, because at that time we didn't know. But later on, we found out this was going to be the private park of that construction. And I shared this, and people started commenting. And this lady you see here, Ergem Şenyuva Tohumcu, she's a very active friend of mine, and I thank her for her uh, cooperation. She commented first, and then we emailed separately, and we thought of like making a petition, like to stop this project, what can we do? And I said, I'll do whatever I can. And she started a petition through change.org. Maybe you have heard that. Uh, she is the founder of yeshilis.org. And we started the petition, she shared it, and I was one of the first who signed it. And it spread so quickly, incredibly fast. So it's, it found its place on the media. Now everybody started talking about this. Then the ministry started saying that the place has not been actually allocated to our corporation. And the Aulu Corporation made an official declaration saying that they had a rental contract and everything was legal. And the argument continued like that for a few days. And nobody knew what was going on. And I was also confused. So I said, I'll go and check myself. In the meantime, I called the Aulu Construction Company myself telling, to tell them that I'm protesting this project in person. Anyways, so I decided I'll check this myself. So it was one Sunday. I have a mother-in-law who is 92 years old. She cannot go out that often. I said, I'll take you out for a drive. We went into the car. I said, let's pass by a nice forest. We came to Fatih Forest again. I said, can we go in? Yes. OK, how much entry? 10 liras, fine. We bought the ticket. We went in. We went into the forest. Then I talked to some people. And I figured out the whole story. The place had been rented out to a company. And that company later on became the partner of all the corporation. They had the right to close the place any time they wanted. I was sad. Anyways, I came back. I thought about it for one day. Then I said the next day I'll share it. Let's see what the people will react. Then I shared it. Now here you see this ticket, AKC Petrol Company. This is the partner of all the corporation. And the place has been rented out. And what I wrote over there is the objective information that I received. It's that the place has been rented, so the ministry is not telling the truth 100%. And 
that um, they can close down the forest anytime they want. The construction was not going to be in the forest, but the forest was becoming their own private garden. And in two hours, in two hours' time, the share number was 200. The next morning it was 2,000, and in the evening it was 4,000. I was panicking. Now you can see here, <laughs> 9,000. <laughs> and when it became 6,000, it was all over on the newspapers, on the web pages. And I started panicking anyways, but I mean it was over there. So this time, the media started talking about it, everybody started dealing with it. So this is how they took back the forest, and the forest was out of the project. The lesson I learned from here is that social media has become incredibly powerful. I and mean, you share something, it may go anywhere and everywhere within a very short period of time. And I always think of like making my own judgment rather than listening to everybody else. So I advise this to everybody. And when you share something as an information with people, you have to make sure that it is correct, otherwise you're going to misguide them and so on. So this is the end of my story. I made a difference with just 10 liras and the Facebook account and my connections and friends. <laughs> if you look around yourself, I'm sure everybody can do, so you can, why not? Thank you. Thank you.